welcome back to the channel. Another day, another unit to go get. And yes, I do have me a new hat here. 2022 National Champions Go Dogs. I got Ann with me. We got the U-Haul over here. We're at Public Storage in Douglasville, Georgia. Cloudy day. And I got this 10 by, no, I'm sorry. It's a 15 by 20, so it's an odd size. See this whole end of this building here? These aren't actual doors anymore. I think at one time they were doors. There is a door on the other end, but it's still got the lock on it. And this is the door that we're going to be opening right here. So it goes all the way to there, to the end of the building there. A um, couple feet over. And then it goes all the way to that end of the building. So this one, with it being on the end, it kind of gives you a little bit better perspective here of the size of the unit. You know, a lot of times I say 10 by 20, 10 by 30, 10 by 10 and all that. We have this whole end of the building. Paid $260 for this one. So, and it's just kind of a lot of stuff just kind of scattered everywhere. Just anything and everything. Step back and look. As you can see. Just a lot of all kinds of stuff. And a lot of just stuff just sitting around. Bags and boxes. And there is some furniture it looks like kind of underneath some stuff. So like here, like this shelf here just with little, what do we have in here? We got paint, cleaning supplies. We got a Diet Coke here. This is good right here. Look at this. Stanley organizer full of nails and screws. Some metal buckets hanging here. Little tool bag. Pretty sure this was a woman's unit because in the tool bag here we got the purple hammer. But what else do we have? A little chair. That's probably that's not a kid's chair. That'd be a doll chair, I guess. It's a kid. But Looks like you're going to have it all in here. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, look at this right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. What else? What else? We got a nice little corner shelf. We got one of those Hawaiian looking chairs. I don't know what you, what you call them. But here is the wooden rocker. Another wooden rocker. So it looks like, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. Just off of volume, it'll be a good unit. There's some furniture pieces there. Oh, look at that Snoopy phone. There's a Snoopy telephone, Ann. And I don't know. There's a box below it. I don't know what that is. Or, you know, I don't even know what, if that'd be in it. Yeah. But, oh, oh, look at that over there. There's a... See that kind of Tiffany-style lamp? Yeah. It's like a fairy, I think. But it has, like, butterfly wings and oh. the Tiffany glass. Nice. Picnic basket. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Looks like... Whoa. Corner tripping shelves, they sell like crazy. Yeah, these always sell easy. There's Christmas stuff back there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Behind the corner shelf in the corner is some Christmas stuff. What is this? It's a filled and stream gift set. I don't know if the chili seasoning mix is any good still, but there's four matching mugs there. All right, so we're about to dig in and see, but as you can see, all kinds of stuff. DVDs. Exciting, huh? And... Over right here, collectibles. Coke Xmas glasses, collectible miscellaneous. So in some, it's not really a, it's not super messy. I mean, there's containers and stuff and stuff in them, but there is a lot of loose stuff kind of sitting around. But it's not like everything's just literally just thrown and thrown everywhere. But there is a lot of loose stuff that we're going to have to put into boxes. Got a couple of, oh. Here we go. Oh, it's got a Yeti lid, but it's not a Yeti thing. The Yeti might be in here. Though. Maybe they just have the wrong lid on it. So that's a Yeti lid, too. Or maybe they just went and bought the Yeti lids for that. But all kinds of stuff to explore here. All right, I didn't even notice this. Here's another little lamp. I actually saw this when I was bidding, but I didn't notice it just now when we came in at first. But it's like a hummingbird. And then the... Um, a little flower looking glass shade Oops. another butter like a little butterfly trash can so there might be some butterfly stuff in here, more butterfly stuff in here which Leah loves butterflies so say. she'll be claiming stuff I don't know what there's like rocks down there I don't know what that is but we'll look here in just a minute and see what all we find 
All right, we're already 50 cent up here. Got two quarters. What do we have in here? Looks like just towels and blankets, but as you can see, everything's folded up. Weird. Towels, blankets, and sheets and everything. Christmas extension cords. There's Christmas lights and yeah, there's extension cords in there. Which those don't really have to be just Christmas, obviously. But they're just using them specifically at Christmas. What is this? These are like gifts, Sam. Look at this. Yay! We get to open presents. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this is like a I mean, it has a card in there that I don't know if it was ever opened or not. Because it's got brand new, we got Mr. Bubble. Um, hair detangler, it's like a little girl's, girl's gift. Yeah. Hairbrush and other stuff down in there, toys and stuff. And it looks like multiple, that's like a boy, look at, oh dang. There's like a, that's been open though. I wonder if that just got dropped in here. PS4, I think for a second I was like, it's going to be a brand new, but. But yeah, we got Hot Wheels stuff. We got brand new um, shampoo, shower gel, and all that stuff. Yeah, this is all. Then in here we got Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels shoes. There's another gift right here. There's Hot Wheels in there. Hot Wheels clothes. So yeah, and then look, brand new Baby Shark umbrella. So far, so good. We got the donut shop coffee box. Let's see. And here, we got some vintage green glass here. Just a bunch of little stuff there. It looks like some kind of Halloween type stuff and everything. Yeah. But right here, look, we got a little trinket box. It's almost like Raggedy Ann, yeah. but with the little teddy bear that comes with it. And keeps lining them up. Resident Serenity Sleep Bundle. And that is not what's in there, but we have more gifts. I like Hot Wheels. That's the, those are headphones, they're not new, they've been used, but right here we got a, a little brand new shirt. Um, down here is a nice pair of Adidas. Looks like they might have been worn once, maybe. Just that. Um, more gift stuff. Brand new toy. Uh, that's another pair of shoes right there. I think these might be used. But they look like they're in good shape. A pair of Nikes there. Overall pretty good shape. So not sure what the, if she was donating this stuff or or what the exact reason to have these gift items is headphones wonder if those are in there and the headphones are in here and they look good i don't know if that's the oh yeah they are aftershock it's a nice pair of headphones like more headphones those are used a little bit worn out but more headphones. What is this? Smock? Smoke? I think this is like vaping stuff. But uh, Alright, so... The few boxes we've gotten so far, we're finding good stuff. Look at this right here. Ooh, Aunt Jemima doll cookie jars, Pappy cookie jar. There we go. This stuff right here, ooh man, this stuff's good. Hold for a second. It's like a cast iron here. I want to open this stuff up. This is a good little box here. I know some some people might you know they get offended by this stuff whenever, but. It sells, we sell it. Now this one right here, this is cool. This is cast, oh, cast iron. 
bank. Look at this guy. Has he got his plug? It doesn't have a plug. You you oh. unscrew it and the whole thing opens up. Oh. And here's something else cast iron. I think this might be a bank too. Yeah. Yep, this is a bank. Look at this one. Oh man. Some of these can be worth a good bit of money. But I mean, just it's heavy cast iron. This is a big one too. I don't even tell how big it is. It's probably about a foot tall. And then there's another. This one's wrapped up really tight. I'm assuming a doll, maybe. Um, no, it, sorry. Maybe that. Okay, that's for the doll you have. This is another cast iron. I think it's going to be another one of her, one of these mammy or, or whatever, however you want to say it. On the. That's what it is. It's another one. I can see the top of it. It's it's a bank cast iron bank that kind of comes together like that. So that's a good little box right there. Some cool vintage collectible items. So we've literally, we just pulled just a few boxes and every, yeah, everything that we're, everything we're opening and what we still got all this stuff. Good, good stuff in every box so far. Um, this says personals. So it's like, I don't know, it looks like a bunch of like toiletry items and stuff, but who knows what's down in there. I see some, um, there's a, whole, there's a bag of jewelry right here. Looks like all costume probably, but um, jewelry, costume, no matter, all of it sells. Oh, and there's more jewelry down in there, more costume jewelry, another bag, and more down in there. So once we were able to dig down in there, you never know, you might find some gold or silver. But a couple bags of costume there. There's just a lot of little stuff in this one container. Belt buckle. Yeah, and I can see down in here look, more costume jewelry. That's nice right there. Makeup. That looks like it was never used. I think this might be a camera. Yep. Um, Coleman. Yes, yeah, a Coleman high definition video camera looks pretty nice and just more and more stuff there's a texas instrument calculator looks like more makeup that one's heavily used but all kinds of stuff down in there and like i always say we just won't have time to dig every inch of every container here especially one like this that has a lot of little stuff in it all right if we keep moving on this way in this bag is it just okay in this bag right here look it's got little towels but look right there there's a nice looking um quilt i don't know if it's an old one or not i don't think so but still this looks okay yeah most of what there's a quilt folded down in there and then a few towels and stuff on the top and i think that's a pillow in there Lavender infused dough, memory foamed, foam pillow. Okay. Yeah, right here, look, we got a bunch of rocks here. I don't really know why, but we do. Here's a, that's the stand for a TV. But they're like large rocks, like you'd have out in your yard for landscaping. This is a smaller one. Look how big, big these are. They're just in the floor in here. Got a little cabinet. Little medicine cabinet. Feels like it's empty. medicine cabinet and there's a little cabinet there <coughs> excuse me more bags with towels and stuff like that set these down see what we can find over here ethan and kara so we got names here Oop. all right look at this we got we got, the, we got some anime reading materials here. We got Harry Potter. So Harry Potter, anime. Could be, a, this is probably, it's another box just packed with little stuff. This is probably gonna be a good one once you're able to dig on here. Look, more anime. And lots of anime books. 
I want to see what this is. Look, there's a box right here. It says Marvel Collector Corps. See, here's a little Zelda, or a little, uh, I'm sorry, Link figure from Zelda. Marvel Scarf. Look at this. Oh, man, look at this thing. This is cool. Guardians of the Galaxy. And look, it's got the outlines of all the Guardians of the Galaxy there. So let's pull this. I probably once I pull this out, I won't be able to get it back in because all this little stuff's around it. But I want to see. It doesn't feel like there's anything in here. It feels like it's empty. Now that I got it out of here. And it pretty much is. There's some patches. These are cool. There's a Deadpool patch. Not sure who she is. If that's, I guess that's supposed to be Captain Marvel, maybe. Wonder Woman. Looks like a Punisher logo there. Whatever was in there was taken out, but phones, there's just all kinds of stuff packed in here. What is this? This some kind of smartwatch looking thing there. Yeah, lots of goodies probably to be had in this box here. Once you dig down in here, some good books. There's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, more anime. All right, let's move along. Let's see what else we can find. That's VHS. Movies VHS. Okay, so this thing is full of clamshell VHS. American Tell, Lion King, all that stuff. So these actually, I mean, they don't go for much, but we can sell them. We don't have to just throw them away. Do buy them. I don't know what we got. It's like a set of antlers or something. I don't know. But we've got. Super Mario shirt. Under Armour shirt. And the cooler. Is the cooler empty? It feels like it's empty. And it's not. <laughs> but I kind of moved it. Just didn't feel like there was anything in there. Got the rear view mirror. So this is all kind of like home repair type stuff it looks like. Stuff for a bifold door. Got a big old clamp. Look at that bad boy. Big old clamp. Ooh, got the framing hammer. It's a nice um, East Wing framing hammer. Brand new washer supply line. So tools and other miscellaneous stuff here. There's a um, tire plug kit. Some weather seal. So all that kind of stuff. Some door safety stops. So, like I said, it just felt because it felt so light when I moved it. I didn't think it had anything in it, but it does. It does. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Another one I want to look in is right over here. This one that says collectibles. We'll actually hit some a few of these containers right here. See what we can find. So yeah, collectibles, Coke, Xmas glasses, collectibles, miscellaneous. Man, and it is heavy. Maybe it's just full of glasses. What do we have? What do we have? Look, we got a, without unwrapping it, a kind of a vintage Red Sox glass mug here. Oh, look at this. Betty Boop salt and pepper shaker. That's cool. It looks like it is collectibles. Lots of glasses, I believe. So this is a Coke um, from Crystal 1995 collector's cup. Patriotic playing cards. So all kinds of stuff in this box here. 
Oh, we, ooh, look at this. We got the vintage blue mason jar. It's got a number eight on the bottom. It's got the lid. It's got the sill. And we got some popcorn in there ready to go. Looks like another, yeah, more of the crystal Coke. <coughs> Obviously, it's in a crystal bag. If you're not sure what crystal is, crystal is a... Um, they sell the little mini ha hamburgers. I know other parts of the country, they have a White Castle. It's the same, very similar to White Castle. Here's another nice blue ball jar. This is a little bit different. It has that locking glass lid. It's got a number one on it. So this is um, definitely a good box. There's no telling what that I'll find in this box. Just a few things we've looked at so far are good. And then we got a seagull mug for some reason. It's not really, well, I mean, I guess if you collect seagull stuff, but not as good as the other stuff. And here's an old Smurf. Look at this guy. That's kind of cool. 1980 little stuff Smurf. So that's going to be a good box from what it looks like. Definitely got some good auction stuff in it. Might be able to put most everything in there in the auction. I'm going to look and see, check out these other containers right here too. This is maybe a fan. I mean, that's what it, it's a fan box. It kind of feels like it is the fan because it just, I can feel it kind of shaking or kind of tilting from side to side and it feels like that's what it is. Okay. We're going to guess that's what it is. All right, this is comforters. And oh, we got another quilt in here, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, we got another old quilt. These always do good in the auction. Down on the bottom, there is a comforter, but the quilt, quilt is good. We got some ladies that bid in the auction that will, no matter what quilt we put in there, they can be stained up, tore up, whatever, they'll, they'll bid on them. So more towels, lots of towels in this box, all nice and folded up. This says, <coughs> excuse me, Tyra Tira Breakables Knickknacks. That's exactly what it looks like. We get the letter J. We've got a nice little fairy kind of, it's not really stained glass, but kind of almost looks like leaded glass thing there. Look at this right here. We got some vintage made in China, but that's just got a cool look to it. Kind of unusual with the rabbit there. And oh, we got precious moments. Some more collectible type stuff. See what else we got over here. We've got a fairy right here, and this one's marked Whisper um, Lena Lou's Whispering Wings Collection. So, don't really know nothing about that, but anything that's marked, there's usually always somebody out there that collects it and is interested in it. Oh, look at this. Screen Guide, October 1945. Looks like there's several other magazines on there. This is cool. That is cool. Let me pull these out. Okay, and these are new ones. That's a newer people. Secrets, Lies, and Regrets. She seems so nice on Full House. And then she got in all that trouble. We got an Elvis. Remembering Elvis. And what is this? What are these? Um, oh, these are decals. These are kind of cool. <coughs> Vintage decals. So that you would peel that off, you know, to put on a window or whatever. Look at that. That's a decal. All right, let's keep loading up kitchen. Look at that. We got some real Tupperware there. Tupperware. Oh, that's Tupperware brand. Got several. Uh, that's Tupperware. Quite a few Tupperware pieces in here. That's all Tupperware. And some other decent looking kitchen stuff. There. All right, let's keep moving this way. 
this just looks like man more just all kinds of stuff glade warmer brand new that's a nice little dish there Put it back in here and just more kind of anything and everything frames there's like a camera case i guess Oh, here's one of these. Oh, I wonder if this is that name that's worth a bunch of money. We had some of these at Christmas time. And, oh, yep, they are. Yeah, Mark Roberts. Some of these can be worth a lot of money. These little elves, gnomes, or whatever they are. But yep, we had several of these back around Christmas that we sold. So lots of, definitely a lot of collectibles of different kinds that keep pulling out just out of the few things that we're looking at. They're a brand new little love wall decor. Right, we're making some floor space in here. Moving along. Either a mirror or some, or a piece of wall art over here. Let's see what this is. See if we can get it unstuck. Put that there. There is a mirror over here. One, I mean, a window, sorry, that people decorate with and all right magnolia wall art kind of a typical typical thing there nothing out of the ordinary moving over this way we're gonna it looks like we're gonna have some a bunch of christmas stuff over here because that says christmas christmas that's christmas that's christmas looks like there's gonna be several christmas things over here we got a ginger ale ginger ale and orange aid what is this guy right here let's see this is a thinks his old uniform is a chick magnet it's like an elf bobblehead of some sort okay some kind of collectible thing it's got it's got a tag on it and everything And we've got huh, fairy wings of some sort. They're like kind of stained glass fairy wings. So they definitely like fairies. We've got lots of little loose stuff all laying on this furniture right here. Hanging fairy. So. There we go. Another little fairy. It's like a looks like an ornament. It's a fairy ornament. All right. So all that needs to go into a box, and we'll start loading some of this stuff up. Like I said, a lot of this is gonna be Christmas, but we'll take a peek at it and see what we find. The gift of light. It's one of those glass blocks made to look like a <clears throat> gift. What is this? We got lots of paperwork and what are these things? Little bows, okay. That looks like yeah, mostly that's mostly paperwork. Get this thing out of the way, and this looks like it's in good shape. Sometimes these can be broken, but I don't see it broke anywhere yet but I can see That's just shoes. rugs and nice. shoes and all right let's see like I said this should be Christmas and it is but it looks like it's gonna it's nice Christmas stuff that little bo stuff boxed up here we got like a musical figure so we're off to <laughs> a start for next Christmas here on gathering some stuff. We got little vintage elf ornaments here. But we'll start building up our stock for Christmas for next year. 
This is nice right here. Another vintage vintage ceramic like a little choir girl. What are these? It's uh I guess probably an ornament. <laughs> okay, there's nothing in there, it's just an empty box. I thought it was wrapped up in there, but there was nothing wrapped up. All right, so lots of organized, wrapped up, decent looking Christmas stuff in that container. We got fine china. I can already see that's Christmas ornaments. These are wreath, wreath boxes. There's a wreath, wreath box, wreath box. A little tabletop tree and so on. This is like a, I don't know if that's a Santa Claus or what. It's, nope, it's not a Santa, it's actually a doll. It's like a pretty, huh. It's a big ceramic doll. Which is like sitting. I don't know if we'll have to, that'll be a good item for the auction. We'll have to check and see what what names marked on it. All right, over here on this side, <clears throat> besides our rocks, there we got a Tinkerbell suitcase. Oh, with a Tinkerbell book inside of it. Looks like some Halloween stuff in here. Here we're gonna have DVDs and stuff. I didn't even notice these before. Maybe they were laying on the floor and Ann picked them up. I don't know. But here's a pair of Jordans, decent shape. And look at that right there, that's kind of cool. Is it, took it's missing a piece on the top there. Yeah, DVDs, okay, there's clothes underneath there. So there's some DVDs on the top there. Mostly clothes in that container. There's another one, okay. I was gonna say another one of them pillows, but it looks like it's other stuff inside of it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> another pot here. Lots of pots. This feels like literally like it's completely empty, and it is, but we'll definitely need that. We brought containers, but there's so much odd stuff. We could definitely use that. What is this? That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It's a um, Karis. It's like wall decor for a kid's room. It's the vintage plastic, you know, stuff that you see. But it's a carousel. Look at it. And it has, all has different animals: a lion riding a, riding a horse, an elephant on a swan, a bear with a ring on a horse, a monkey on a horse, and a giraffe on the swan. So that's different. And it's not broken anywhere what is that just a stuffed cupcake yeah <laughs> you get a little handicap bathroom seat there looks like a rice cooker maybe or an emerald it's like an emerald um pressure cooker whoa they don't pop open on me we need a cord but that's a basic cord we always have that cord if it's not in here if it's not but that's not a problem finding finding a cord like that. This looks like kitchen. I don't know if it's dishes or not, but like bakeware. A little rooster going here. Bowls, serving bowls, decorative bowls, all that stuff. That's just a regular old bowl. But down in there, it looks like we got a popcorn, popcorn popper down in here. Among the other things, this might be another chicken or a rooster. Nope, it's a cow. Yep, a little blue cow with a plant in the back of it. So here's another, probably a good little box here, especially for the auction. Oh, what do we got here? It looks like a, some kind of vintage serving piece. 
It's not vintage, just um, it's Paula Deen. It just kind of has that vintage look. But it's a nice little Paula Deen, like casserole dish, I guess. So a couple of toolboxes here. We're going to check and see if there's actually tools or something else in them. A couple of space heaters. Those are always good, especially this time of year. And actually, is this a heater too? It's either a heater or a fan. I think that might just be a fan. Another quarter over here. And just found another quarter. We're racking up. This has a little bit of weight to it, so hopefully maybe it's tools. And yeah, um, what do we have this? We got a few things here on the top. These little hole cutters. And down here, what do we have? Several different things here, like a pipe wrench, some cutters, we got some just screws and bolts and everything here, tape, stapler, pliers, we got this little Johnson corner thing here, magnetic angle locator, and other odds and ends, looks like some paint or something ended up getting spilt in there at some point. Yeah, lots of little goodies inside there. So it looks like the other one you would think would also have tools. That would be our guess. Ugh. It's heavy like tools. It's a little craftsman box. No, yeah, we got lots of screwdrivers, sockets. You know, this, this right here is kind of loaded down with tools also. That's good. Definitely, it's, the, units like this are good because you get a very wide array of stuff. Something for everyone. So when we start putting like most of the stuff's gonna go in the auction, it just makes for a good auction because you just have a little bit of something for everyone. Clothes, yep, that's what it is, is clothes. And this says sell something they were wanting to sell it says mom right here it says sell right there okay well it's just clothes so clothes well, there's some shoes down there what is this feels empty yep um shoes and purses so not just clothes but some other stuff there's a vera bradley purse there And as I'm doing these box, moving these boxes, starting to uncover more like pieces of furniture. There's a glider chair right here. There's some kind of um, dresser behind here that we still got to get stuff off of. Um, something back there, a shelf or something. Another piece there. That's the chest of drawers. Looks like it matches this. So like a matching set, like a vintage wood chest of drawers and a dresser. That's a mirror, probably for this. And I don't know, okay, this is a, oh, it's a little cot. It's like I said, wide array of stuff for sure. And then there's two more fans, maybe heater. You have to look at them up close. That might be a heater there. That looks like a fan. Oh, and now that I'm actually looking, there's a fan, there's a fan, there's a fan. So lots of little fans and heaters. All right, we got a couple of presents here. We can open up here, Ann. Oh, I'm getting one with the bow? Mm-hmm. See what we got. <laughs> I don't know what that says or if it is even what's in there. You got a pair of Nikes? Yes, I did. Ooh. Yes, I Dang. did. And if these would have been your size, they, I would have let you keep them. Dang. So a nice little yeah, kids I pair of Nikes. Yes, 
Okay, what do we have here? We get some robot tissue paper. It's a whole little, whole little deal here. I guess I, don't, I guess this might have been a maybe a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. It's a little tackle box. She wrote the wrote the name on it. Yeah, a little. Ta oh, well, it's got candy. fishing tackle and candy in it. I love it. <laughs> That's funny. Too bad she never gave it to him though. I don't wonder what happened. Kind of sad. Oh, I guess this was for Easter. There's an East Easter bunny and um, Easter candy in here. Oh, and I just noticed. Yeah, that's Easter too. Yep, that must have been something for Easter, obviously. Yeah, I just thought maybe Christmas because it had that snowman thing in it, but apparently it was um, Easter. All right, we're about, I guess we're about halfway through. I don't know, we just stopped to eat lunch. We got a pile going up there in the front of the truck. It's stacked up to the ceiling. Good amount of stuff still in the unit. I got Anna chair to sit in and eat lunch here. Got her a nice rocking chair out of the unit there to sit in. I went, I'm sitting here on the, the bumper of the truck. I jumped up to go get her a chair and she was scared. She said, she thought I was gonna get her this right here. That handicapped toilet seat to sit on <laughs> she said in her mind she thought i was gonna go get her that thing better get that chair we're about done eating lunch here we're gonna get busy again on that unit and get it loaded up but so far finding it's just you know some very good stuff nice wide variety of stuff you know every kind of every category you can think of we're finding stuff in from household stuff to decor uh, man stuff tools and stuff odd stuff collectible stuff you know some furniture a few big pieces in there lots of little accent pieces stuff for the yard christmas stuff so a little bit of everything so yeah so far so good very good unit for the auction because it's always good to have a wide variety but we're about to get back to work and we will see what else we find here